All right. Um, here are our two select problems that we're going to go through for the homework, and there's only two because there's six problems on the homework, so I figured you guys can do most of them. So we're going to do problems uh, one and problem three, right? So those two problems, okay? So very similar to kind of like the lesson in the look and sort of what, what we're going to be doing with them. All right, so this first one, right, we've got... We've got 4xy squared minus 2xy plus 2x squared y all over xy, all divided by xy. So we're going to start by splitting this up, right? So we're going to go 4xy squared over xy minus 2xy over xy and then plus 2x squared y over xy. All right. And so when we go through, uh, well, there's no number on the bottom, right? There's no coefficient, so there's not going to be really any division to be doing with um, with the coefficients in these terms. So I know I'm going to have four, right? Because it's like thinking of one. And when you have the same thing, the top and the bottom, right? It's basically like effectively like they're canceling out because they make a pair of one. And when you have something that makes a pair of one, right? So if you have something like that, it's this, which is x to the zero. We also know that that's one. So, you know, it's kind of kind of a theme we're going to be exploring quite a bit here. So we got y squared over y. So this is going to be 2 minus 1, which gives me 1. So we're going to have y to the 1. And then that kind of gets rid of that, obviously, when you do the division. So we got 4y. All right, and then we got minus 2. And then my x's are going to cross out, right, because this makes a pair of 1, and then my y's are going to also cross out because that makes a pair of 1. So we just got minus 2, because 2 times 1 times 1 is, surprise, surprise, 2. All right, and then we have plus 2. We have x to 2 over x, so you're going to have another 2 minus 1, which gives you 1. So we have 2x, and then my y's cancel. And so this is my very crooked box and final answer. Okay, 4y minus 2 plus 2x. There isn't really a standard way to write this that's like more proper than others. So this is fine. Now this problem um, is going to be the exact same thing, kind of like what we just did, except that we're going to write it out first, right? So what I'm doing is I'm taking and writing this first term or first polynomial out, and now I'm going to put it over divide it by this using fraction notation instead. All right, and now let's split it. 24 a to the third b squared. So we're distributing, kind of think of it as distributing the denominator to all the different terms in the numerator, right? but with division instead of multiplication. All right, so we have 24 a to the third b squared. 8ab minus 16 a squared b to the third over 8 times a times b. Okay, so let's do uh, let's do my division aspect with the coefficients first. So 8 goes into 24 three times, meaning it goes into itself once. So we're going to have 3. We have a to the third, right, divided by a, which is the same as a to the 3 minus 1, because there's an implied exponent there, which is a squared. So we'll put the a squared here. And then for my b squareds, I have b to the squared over b, which is b to the 2 minus 1, which is b to the 1, which is b. All right, so we have 3 a squared b minus, well, 8 goes into 16 twice and into itself once. So we're going to have 2. And we have 2 minus 1. I'm not going to write this one out the way I did this one. 2 minus 1 is 1, so we're going to have a to the 1. And then b to the third over b to the one is three minus two, or sorry, three minus one, which is two. So two a b squared, and um, and we're done, right? This is finished. Um, you could factor it out if you're solving something, but we don't have to do that, and they're not asking us to do that. So this is a uh, this is a simplified term, um, and yeah, we can go here and try to throw a relatively straight box around it, which I've shown I'm not the best at in the morning. So hope this is helpful to you guys and uh, good luck working on these problems. And
and uh, have fun.